Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James and we're back on the live community server and we got some bad news to start with. The beehive that we finished the episode with last week has been destroyed by the insect swarm we assume so don't leave your beehives outside if you manage to get one. Um, on the good news front though, I did find another beehive right at the bottom of a tree, so I have found one that we can tame up, so I'm going to have to go and grab another bee. However, today I need to get myself some utility dinosaurs. I need to find a dodic and an anki at the very least, but before I do that, I want to go and do some missions. I'm just crafting up some narcotics, so if we get rid of a couple of missions, perhaps get ourselves some saddles and points and then we'll head out, I think, into the ice biome for the first time and try and find a Dodic and an Anki. We can't be gathering the resources by hand anymore, just doing these behemoth gates took quite a bit of time. Even though I've got a journeyman pick and an ascendant hatchet or the other way around, um, I still need these utility dinos. Yeah, Byrionics. We need lots of dinos, but we don't need the low level ones. So, I'm just going to go and do a couple of the missions. I know I failed the bog, another bog hunt last time, so I need to get that one done. And there's another one called a long cane pollen that I think I'll do. Okay. So I've done it this time uh, on Gamma, and what did we get? Let's have a look. Oh, I noticed some gilly stuff there. I do need some decent gilly. Right. A couple of ramshackle gilly bits there. Um, parasol platform saddle. And how many quet saddles? I don't even know if quets will spawn in on the game. Uh, we do have a hazmat mask, so that's handy because you can't craft that. That's an aberration piece and I have got a couple of hazmat bits so I don't know if that's how we're going to be able to get to the lunar biome. Gallimima saddle. So yeah n not the best roll but at least we got a couple of gilly bits there. So which would be handy in the bog area. Um, I'm going to go and drop this stuff off and we will take on another mission. Probably getting weighted down a bit here so just going to head back to base which is not far and then we'll try a long came pollen on the gamma and guru's already done this one and well right, we're second on the scoreboard on that one okay well we need to do at least 40 of them on gamma before we can even get to the boss okay so a long came pollen's a little bit different and I just need one more of these pollen blocks, um, but yeah, it sent you all over the bog. Now these things, you have to wait until they stop breathing out the poisonous stuff. There is a pattern to it. I just thought it went off, but it, it, when it starts breathing, and when it stops, you can run over there. Okay, so we've got the quality pollen, and what's this? Oh, we've got an escape. Okay, so things have been attacking us while we've been doing this all the time, but I didn't know this happened. Okay, I think we need to get out of here. It's quite a lot of stuff coming towards us. Oh, wow. This is... Even Spino back there, another Spino. Oh. Actually, if we get caught here, or cornered with the amount of dinosaurs, this could actually be bad news. I hope they despawn when we get through, if we get through. So, oh, right, there's three spinos right at the end. Oh, everything's on us. Oh, look at that, I can just see everything hitting. Fortunately, it wasn't hitting really hard, but, whew, I like that end. That's quite a good mission. Um, I wouldn't have liked it if I'd lost my spino. Okay, what did we get? Well, <laughs> okay, so we got a load of electric plods, uh, trikes, saddle, Desert goggles, which no use. Phenomi saddle, parasaur saddle, sarco saddles. Um, yeah, probably the Lazarus chowder is probably the best thing I got there. Um, we got a mind wipe tonic, which doesn't work apparently with the patch. 
Okay, so we've got ourselves some fur gear together. Even managed to get an apprentice chess piece. And I've got plenty of tranks. So we're going to head out into the snow biome. I'm just going to take Blood Ninja. Um, I've bought enough stuff with me just to make a little two by square hut. Which I'd rather have. We don't want to be going out there and get caught and not have a, at least a sleeping bag or something down. Okay, and what did you drop? I'm told that sometimes you can lose your dinosaurs going through these portals, so... Um, let me see, let me just put it on you, if I'll need that venom. Um, and I will take some meat with me, right. Okay, oh yeah. Don't forget to say hello to HLNA. And we need to go to okay, so Arctic's the medium. And I guess we'll go east. And I'm hoping I think that I might have I should have done this outside. I'm gonna spawn. Because these dino I didn't think I think I'm gonna bring my spino and my parasaur through at least. Ah, oh, James. What you like? I don't know how to cancel it. Um, I don't want to step outside of it just in case the dinos <laughs> go through without me. Oh, right. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah. Oh, even the Carno come through. Oh, I'm going to have to... <laughs> right. I'm going to have to put everything away. Um... That could have been bad. We look fairly fairly safe. Right, I'll just buy some pods off HLA. Right, oh. No. Oh. Okay, right, let's <laughs> I've got all my dinosaurs in my pocket, so the first thing I want to do really now is just put a bed down because I didn't mean to bring everybody through, so let's go and find somewhere safe. Okay, this looks pretty good. It's just at the top of an ice waterfall. I don't think anything can get to us here. And there's loads of Ovis on this map. So we got a load of mutton, which is great. And I can say nothing too fancy. I might make it into a four by instead of a two by, but if I can just get a bed and my storage crate down. Stick. Um. Just want to make sure I can still get a wall on. And stick one of these down. And then I can just put my dinosaurs in this crate for now. Okay. We can hunt about now. Let's have a little look around the snow biome. Oh, it looks nice. And we can get some of these glitches. Bloodstalker is definitely the way to hunt about for glitches. I haven't seen any flyers yet. I don't know if there's any RGs out here. I don't even know if the snow owls are in this game. So I haven't seen any, but. Okay, we've got Taming Pen down there. Who does this belong to? Anti. I think I've come across Ante before, but... Um, level 100 zero. Ooh, a 145 Woolly. I've never tamed a Woolly Rhino before, but... If it's still here when we get back, I have an Ascendant Saddle for one. I'd prefer a Mammoth for the wood, but... A 145 Woolly Rhino. This would be good for Thatch and Berries. And like I say, I've already got the saddle. Okay. So yeah, I'm just trying to find a decent level Dodic. There's plenty of Dodicarus and Ankies on the map, so I'm sure I'm going to find something. I just really want to only tame decent level stuff. So, and here's another one. What are you? It's a... Uh, 140. You will do nicely. 
Okay. So we've got another taming pen here. Didn't say it belongs to anyone, but we don't need it for a Dodicarus. Okay, can't need too many more darts now. Well, it is Torpor running, but it's taken quite a few. There we go. Okay, so let's get ourselves some Medjo Berries. Watch out for that Therizino there. Actually, might try going for that as well. Can we whistle you over here? Nope. Um, I will just step around the outside of you. Right, well, we're going to need to hunt for an Anki. Okay, well, I've been trying to tame that Therizino, but unfortunately it ended up aggroing on the Dodic and we lost it. So the Dodic's alright, it's, uh, it's just gone into its shell, but I've lost my gear, so I'm going to have to take it back to base and just do some repairing. I also need some more Trank darts and my gun's gone so there's not much more we can do here so I'm just going to take the dinosaurs back to base and then come back out and have a look for an Ankylosaurus. Can't believe I've used up all of these darts already. I certainly go through them. Come on, we need to get up here. Just jump, that's it. Okay, so there's a level 130 Anki and really beautiful looking colours as well. It's got turquoise blue colouring underneath it. So we're just going to grab this. We'll find the Anki the easiest dino to tame. They can't... They've got so slow speed. You can always outrun them. I'm just shoot them from here. I recently discovered that they've actually found, I think it was in Canada, a fully preserved fossilised Ankylosaurus. It's really quite mad to see. The thing was as big as a car, something like 18 feet long when it actually walked the earth. I don't know. You play Ark long enough, you become a knowledge base of dinosaur information. <laughs> but yeah. So I suppose in real scale, this thing would be a baby. If they were alive today be literally like twice as big as this. But yeah, I suppose mostly when you see them in the museum, they kind of, they're just skeletons, but a fully preserved fossil is kind of, it's really mud. Anyway, I digress. Let's see a lot of the colors on this. And just them avalanches. I've not got caught in one yet, but I just got worried for a second. Okay. Yeah, it looks awesome. Uh, can't have much more. And uh, there we go. So that's a Dodic and an Anki starting to do our utility dinos. Let's see, I could really do with a way of getting wood. At the moment, I think the best option for that would be a woolly mammoth. But, saying that, there is that rhino on the lake. And that would be for thatch and berries. I haven't actually ever tamed a woolly rhino, but I'm tempted to do so as we've got that ascendant saddle. Just get ourselves a load of mejos. stuff. Okay, here's a little tip for you. If you press H if you're on PC and you're targeting something, HL and A will do a little animation and scan whatever you're looking at. And that's really handy if you are trying to 
take something down and knock it out, you can see how much torpor it has left. So it acts exactly like the magnifying glass, but you don't have to put your weapon away. And it actually works from quite a range as well. But yeah, if you're on PC, just press H and you get a little scan. Good idea. Okay, well, I'm just freezing at the moment, but I managed to trank the woolly rhino that was on the ice lake. It's actually taken me quite a while to knock it out. I did build a pen, but it uh, just aggroed on the outside of it. I didn't manage to get it inside, so yeah, we're just waiting for this woolly rhino. I just grabbed it because it was there, but I couldn't find a decent level mammoth. So, just trying not to freeze. I quite like it out in the snow biome. There you go. But yeah, you can see how much top is left as well. I like that. I like that. I'm going to have to remember to start using it a lot more. Literally stood in this fire to keep warm. <laughs> oh well. We'll come back when it's tamed. Okay, well it's night time and the temperature has dropped quite a bit. And I'm having to pretty much stay next to this fire with a torch to just keep warm enough. But there's this Gigantopithecus that's been wandering around the rhino. So I thought I'd have a go at passive taming it. Pretty much there now. It's only a level 90. But yeah, I think one more will do it. And that would be a way to grab some fibre. So we've got stone, metal, thatch and a fibre gatherer. And I have got my scythe, so grabbing fibre is not really that important, but it's just kind of a, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone thing here. Just get the bloodstalker out of the way, I don't want to wander into the path of it. You just stay there. And I know I'm about to die, but you're not hungry yet. Right, let's get back to the fire. One more and it'll, it'll tame up. So I'll just sort of stand here, and even this is not enough to take the freezing bar off. I do, I have lost some of my fur gear, so I'm wearing some ghillie, but if I get my torch out as well, and then I got some mutton, because that actually regens the health better. So let's just eat some of that. Bring our health bar up a little bit. But yeah, it's quite harsh out here. I've got fortitude pumped to 18. Some measures that. Ooh. How did you not aggro? These things used to, you couldn't get near them. And now it seems that they're, they're pretty easy to tame. Easiest Okay, so we got ourselves a Gigantopithecus. Okay, so you don't need a saddle, which is one thing, but let's just grab some berries. There you go. And for fibre, it's not showing the fibre. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. There we go, we've got sort of 700. If we pump some levels into melee damage, it probably would be better than the scythe for gathering fibre, but yeah, that's not too bad. You can also let it wander as well. I don't think I really have got much of an area in my base area where it can wander just to gather fi fibre. But we might be able to. Let's, say, let's just kill two birds with one stone. He was taming the rhino anyway. Okay. I think I might grab that fibre. There you are. Doesn't weigh much. You always need it. Okay. Well, let's get the torch out. <laughs> Heal up a bit. Oh, not that one. There we go. Okay. And certainly going through this mutton. <laughs> We've got plenty of it. 
I'm bringing some back to base because I don't think I'll be taming on prime meat anymore, not with as much Ovis around as there is. Okay, we're back, and I'm just going to put the Ascendant Saddle on this Woolly Rhino, because I've never actually tamed one before, so I've had a go on one, but let's just see what we're looking at Fatch and Berry Wise with a Rhino. So they can have a lot of weight, and whoa, hey, them numbers are going up quite quick. This is before we've pumped any levels in. Now look at that. Fantastic. I think with the rate that I can gather narco berries on this, I, I certainly don't need to grow any. Um, so it just gets faster. And so one and a half thousand fatch there with a few swings, 750 narcos. So we'll give it some more mini damage, a little bit more health, but I have got the ascendant saddle, so it's got good armor on this but the swamp is a little bit dangerous, so I would like it to be able to at least get some stuff out of the way. Right, let's have another go. Let's see the numbers. Oh, this thing just churns up the grass. Look at that. Fantastic. I like it. Definitely good at the berries. And while you're doing that, you're inevitably going to end up with some fatch as well. Um, let's give it a little bit of extra weight. I'll have to check if it takes reduced weight on stuff. Um, but yeah. Oh, I think the woolly rhino was a good find. I'm going to have to think of some names. If you guys have got any suggestions for names of any of the stuff I've tamed today, then go for it. I always struggle with names. But yeah, we've tamed up a few things, so I need some names. And that's going to have to do it for today's episode. We pretty much managed to tame up all of our basic utility dinosaurs. I'm just going to need a way of gathering wood. So I'm thinking the best option there is going to be a woolly mammoth. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content from myself so far. I know about 80% of my viewers are actually not currently subscribed, so if you're enjoying it, consider doing so. And also, if you'd like to be a member of the ARC community server and you're on PC, just simply follow the links to my Discord in the Show More section down below or the channel banner up above. Of course, even if you're not on PC and you'd like to join the Discord, you are more than welcome. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.